This is very interesting case. A 55 year old healthy lady came for ultrasound abdomen with referral for non-specific abdominal pain in the upper abdomen. On ultrasound, normal sized liver shows mildly hypoechoic pattern and there is mild GB wall thickening with no calculus. I even did the scan in prone position to rule out any mobile calculus which could be hidden in the gallbladder neck in supine position. So it was done. Nothing else could be identified in the gallbladder even in this prone position. There is no probe tenderness, no sonographic Murphy sign. And both the kidneys are also looking good and show normal size and echotexture with no calculus. And there is no hydronephrosis in both the kidneys. There is no perinephric fat stranding in both the kidneys. So then I went to the right iliac fossa to see any inflammatory changes or fat stranding or thickened appendix. Nothing was there. In the pelvis, bladder was just filled. The uterus was atrophic with very thin endometrium. Both the ovaries appear atrophic with no free fluid in pelvis. Then I asked for any fever and she said definitely no for the past few weeks or two weeks. It was not diabetic at all and not hypertensive. I was confused. The gallbladder wall thickening with nothing means no infection, no major inflammation. I wanted to rule out any pleural effusion. So if there was pneumonitis or something like that or a pleuritis, anything. Nothing was there above the diaphragms and there was no other pathology above the diaphragms. Nothing could be identified in the lung ultrasound. And I wanted to rule out pericardial effusion and there was nothing there through the subcost review. I tried to assess the heart too. On Doppler, there was some diastolic dysfunction on uh, a curvilinear probe and I thought that there could be some diastolic dysfunction in the mitral valve. Can it be connected with the gallbladder wall thickening? I don't know, it was very difficult for me to assess further. It was the visiting time for my cardiologist to assess through echo and definitely we will assess much, much better and find an answer if any. Usually it's my lunch time and usually I'll be out uh, by the time he visits here. But I was waiting there to end if it is normal then I'm going to be wrong, right? And why the GB wall thickening and otherwise healthy uh, perimenopausal lady? And then yes, my cardiologist came and uh, he finished four other patients and then my patient was the last one eagerly waiting what he's going to do through the parasternal axis. He assessed the left atrium and the iota and, and even the left ventricular outflow tract said it was normal. Then he assessed the right ventricular outflow tract and the pulmonary valve and the pulmonary artery and recorded as normal. Then M mode assessment was done and I saw him getting alert by his gesture. I don't know why. Then he started to assess the mitral valve in B mode and M mode and on Doppler with the assessment of mitral valve area. And then he asked the right question to the lady which I had not asked yes and watch that yes he asked or a disney and it has been there how long and the, she immediately replied yes sir for the past few weeks I'm becoming disney if I go upstairs or go on a long walk which I never used to have such disney for the past many years and oh my god I felt that I missed the bus my cardiologist who is my MBBS classmate and my friend, he turned towards me, dude, it's mitral stenosis, mild. And nowadays, it's not uncommon with late presentation after 40 to 45 years. This patient has been asymptomatic for so many years and that could be missed even on echo without any symptoms previously. I thanked uh, my friend uh, who is also a visiting cardiologist in, the, in this my working hospital and also for his, for his wonderful assessment. He reported the echo as mild grade 1 mitral stenosis with no dilatation of left atrium. And there is no pulmonary hypertension. Till this time, I know that GB wall thickening is very common with right heart failure or cardiac, uh, congestive cardiac failure. And after this episode, it was a good learning for me that GB wall thickening can occur due to any other cardiac pathology that too with mild symptomatic mitral stenosis. Yeah. I thank everyone for watching this and please post your comments below. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.